Okay, so now we're going to do part F. And what that is, is two solenoids. Um, they're not connected. So one is connected to the galvanometer, the other is connected to the power supply. And we want to see what happens when we turn on and off the power supply. So again, these are not connected. One is completely connected to the power supply and separate from the one that is connected to the galvanometer. So when I turn on the power supply, pay attention to the galvanometer and see that it deflects even though they're not connected. And then when I turn it off, it deflects in the opposite direction. So on, off, on, off. And so we get the needle to deflect back and forth. Um, and so I want you to think about what happens then. So when you um, send a current through a solenoid, something happens. And when you then that happens, you're going to get current through the other solenoid. So current through a wire produces a magnetic field. And so the solenoid connected to the power supply is going to produce a magnetic field. Um, and that field is going to go around as if it was a bar magnet. And so you're going to get field that goes through the center of the second solenoid. And just like our experiment today, it's going to do what it can to make that change zero. So when you induce a field, it's going to induce an opposite field to um, oppose that change. And that's going to produce its own current, which is going to show up on the galvanometer. So they don't have to be connected. You can just use the magnetic field generated by one to induce a current in the other. Um, and then when you turn off the power supply, what happens is you stop putting a current through here, which sends the um, magnetic field to zero. But again, this one also is going to oppose that change. And so it's going to induce a field um, to what it was, which is going to then induce a, field, or a current in this one, which again will show up in the galvanometer in the opposite direction. Um, so that's part F. Um, other than that, I think you just have summary questions. Uh, good luck, and I will see you next week.